Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The last boxing promotions in conjunction with the Nigeria Boxing Board of Control presenting the National Light Welterweight title. This bout introducing the first of all the stewards for the bout. Your gloves master is of Lady Kupo Babalola. Your timekeepers are Prince Ade of Lofi, Mr. Titi of Gunkule, and the ringmaster is Joel Assisi. The ring doctors are Dr. Chike Lukwe, Dr. Tajuti Sule, and your treasurers for the bout, Dr. Kayode Gomez. We introduced your supervisor for this bout, Dr. Rafael Oladipo, who doubles as the president of Nigeria Boxing Board of Control. Coordinator for the bout is Remy Uderi. He's also the general secretary of Nigeria Boxing Board of Control. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing now the officials for the bout. The three judges calling this bout at the bear. Joshua E. John, Wahab Martin, I go on life. And the third man in the ring where the bell goes will be Shego Adesoya. Once again, your supervisor for the bout is Dr. Rafiu or Ladipo. And now introducing the boxers. First of all, fighting out of the red blue corner. And he weighs uh, 64 kilograms, coming to the fight. He has a career record of 11 fights, 4 wins, and 6 losses. And he is a former national super featherweight title challenger. And now, fighting for the national title, Vicar National Light Welterweight title, introducing Moses Abataroro. And his opponent, clad in gold and white, fighting out of the red corner. He comes in, fighting, uh, weighing at 64 kilograms. He has a career record of eight bouts, seven wins, and one draw. Five of his wins coming by way of knockout. He is a former WP. A W A P U Wabu Super Lightweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the man that goes by the nickname War Junde Shadow Adeyemi. Destroy. Let's go home. I don't want to hear stories. This guy, man, what you know, that's why we're not paddling. What about demolition? We need to be the beast. I am a disorder, which I will be sent out every week. Like, uh, like, 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 such gloves and gloves in the first round and last round. Having a great fight. Stop gloves. One of the two title fights right here. Boxers of contrasting styles. And the man popularly called Akmata Roru. You know what that means, the rock of ages. Is, is that really what it means? Yeah, not exactly, but the, but the solid rock. That's what Apata Roro means. Apata Roro, okay. Apata Yeraye is the rock of ages. But he's, he hails from a place that has got a lot of Apata, and that's talking about it, or your state, Ibado. Really? Okay. And of course... Like Mako Hill and the rest of them. Yeah, you got it, you got it. And then, of course, he's up against the man He's a gentleman outside the ring, if you see him outside the ring, but inside the ring, he brings war. war. So, war. and it is for the national light welterweight title. Yes. So a lot of his, a lot is at stake. A lot is really at stake. Akbatero lost his last fight against um, T.P. Rock. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, it was a knockdown. I remember but his popular stoppage. slogan, yes. I remember his slogan when he was doing, doing the, the, the publicity for the show. 
he was, he was speaking in Yoruba, he said, um, man not 35 years, grew near year. <laughs> <laughs> Which means he's, he, he was going to be 35 years and away he, from the life of he lost, it. actually. He got, he, he got 35 years beaten out of it. Well, let's see this time around. Let's see if he's going to take it, take it to... Um, to you see, that's, that's, this is the little things I have, uh, the, the issue I have with um, Akpasaru. He looks a very fit fighter, but he's not stable. You know, for me, leg movements are not necessarily the best. And uh, Would you say he's... Um, Would you say he's an old war horse? That, that's why he's kind of unstable or what? Because he's been there for a long time. He's been, he's been boxing. Yeah, he's been boxing. But you know, the thing, the thing about it is also the fact that this is a trilogy fight. Mm -hmm. This is the third time they are meeting. Um, it, it's not been totally very clear. Yeah. And uh, sorry, this is the third fight. Yeah. Interestingly, War has won the earlier two fights between the two of them. But War may not have necessarily won it in a very convincing fashion. And you know the kind of person that Pataruru is. It, it feels if you want to beat me, beat me clean beat me, let's go, you have beaten me. But you're not going to beat me by, you know. <laughs> hey, what? Well, well, getting me some good jabs there. He came out from that quick break and he was on fire straight away. Trying to establish his dominance in the ring now. It's on the war. It's in three jabs. Akpataro is standing strong this time around. I'm sure he's trying to avoid some mistakes. Good one coming from Akpataro there. Tries to go on the inside, but uh, war wouldn't ha allow him to get on that inside. Yeah, Akpataro dances back, dances forward, and takes the, the, the punch lightly. Oh, and it goes down! Akpata Roro goes down! War takes him down and staggers with the ring! Ladies and gentlemen! I... Everybody's... It's a knockdown, yes, but... Akpata Roro seems to be still ready to go ahead with the fight. Yes, and he says... He seems to be ready, to be honest, but... It, but Shagwa Adesoya can see things there we cannot see there's the powerful knockdown there watch that again the opening was too much and watch watch when he stands up it would be nice to see what happened there and boom it goes down you know let's see what happens you know he started a bit and it goes down again the powerful left hook from and, i guess i asked him to go back but apataro is not happening yeah that's there you have it so he goes all the way there and that's why I checks him out and then he waves it aside. He had to take a good look at him first. And he knows that he's, he, he has a feeling that this man is not in the right. You know, there's some times when you say you want to fight. And at the same time, look at him there. From the playback, you can see that he literally took his time, looked into his eyes, and he saw that there was no need for this man to continue. Well, we cannot argue on a referee's decision. Akmatero went down, he couldn't stay on his feet. He staggered to the ringside and the referee had to stop the bow, which is the right thing to do. Well, let's look at it there. He tries to go yeah, up quickly. Up. His legs filled in. Oh, 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 no. Mm. And then watch it from here. He wasn't necessary. You know, the one responded. That was a massive left hook there coming from war. Very massive. Take down and, and, and I hope this puts break to it finally. This is the third victory for that man there. Talking about uh, Shagun Adeyemi War. And th th there's no need for any other fight again. I mean, three out of three, it is over. It's done deal. It's done deal. That's a statement ma made there. Thank you. We could also argue, but let's go straight to the rings. The ring, ring announcer, Rav Chidoze George, to give us the official result.
Thank you. 